Hello, this is Y'all Weasel. Let's play Quest for Glory 2. Trial by Fire. And in the last episode, by the most amazing coincidence in the world, we found the money changer. So now I would like to find my way back to the, uh, the, the hawker who was going to sell a map amongst other things. Uh, I used the video footage from the last episode to draw myself a map of where I'd gone with an enormous amount of luck. Whew, I will be able to use this map to figure out where I'm going. Okay, I want to go through here. And then... what? Already I'm confused. Uh... Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, good. I know where I am. I know where I am. Uh, I believe I want to go down here. Eh, eh, eh. God, look at how confusing this is. How did anyone do this? <laughs> like, how is this even possible? Now I just need to walk straight for a long while. I can ignore that door there, but it is on my map, so I know it exists. <laughs> so that's good. I just want to get to the to the map seller right now, and I want to immediately turn right. Okay. Then after a short bit, turn left. Oh, 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 there we go. And then that's going to get me here. Good. Right turn. Okay, then a left turn. Yes, okay. You see, I made a real map. It works. Um, then I want to turn right here. Go all the way to the end of this hall. Uh, then I want... I'm going south, then I want to turn right. Do you see how gaming used to be? <laughs> this... this was gaming in whatever year this was released. Okie dokie. And hopefully I didn't just get completely lost while I was making a bad joke. Um, yes. Okay. Okay, good. Whew! Okay. Whew, okay, so I could, uh, I could buy a basket. Sorry, I, I don't need a basket right now. Well, okay, no, no, I need a map. I focus 100% getting a map. I will, I will consider getting a basket after I get a map. <laughs> I do not have time. I will be happy to sell you the pot which best suits your needs. Right now I don't have any needs for any pot. Uh, all I have to do is walk straight here so I can figure out this part. I just ignored all the doors, and there you go. Oh, man, this place sucks. <laughs> okay, what I need is a map. Let me see if I got one. There you go, boss. One map for one dinar. That's pretty reasonable. I have like 156 or something. You know gonna regret this, boss. Guaranteed the best in town, or you know gonna get your money back. Or you know gonna get your money back. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have a map. You have a map of the streets and the plazas of Chappere. That's good because it's a complete friggin' mess. How do I look at the map? Uh, read map. Oh god, that's not helpful. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I can go north through there. Oh man, do you see that? What is- what? <laughs> okay, so there's the money changer. I guess I'm. it's better that I have this map than that I don't, but like, wow. Is this always a you are here? Hopefully that's always a you are here and it'll show me wherever I am. Rather than just saying, well, you know this place exists, so figure it out for yourself. So here's the palace. There's the fountain plaza. I think I accidentally made it to the fighter's plaza once uh, while trying to make my map, which was failurific. So I'm going to take this route here to the fighter's plaza if I can manage. All I have to do is take the immediate left, and then continue taking lefts for a while, uh, and then go down there. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to the Fighters Plaza. Let's, let's go through the most confusing town that there ever has been, and find our way to a particular plaza, which is very, very distant. So... Uh, anyway, we're in Quest for Glory 2. I didn't really introduce the game last time. Uh, simply because I guess I just assumed everybody who was watching it had already watched my Let's Play of Quest for Glory 1. Uh, but if you haven't, so if you are familiar with the King's Quest or Space Quest series, is, 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 
then Quest for Glory is in that same vein. It's also a Sierra adventure game, a point-and-click adventure. This is from back in the time when point-and-click adventure games were the coolest thing ever, which is not to say that they're not now, but there aren't very many of them left. Uh, any, I don't want to take that way. Um, anyway, but this is a point-and-click adventure game, as you can see. The interesting thing about Quest for Glory, aside from the fact that I had never played it as a kid, but I had played... Uh, King's Quest and Space Quest. I also haven't played Police Quest, if you're familiar with that one. The interesting thing about Quest for Glory is it's kind of an RPG, too. I don't want to take that path. And now I'm confused. Uh, oops. Uh, what was map? Control R. Uh, okay, I want to go right. Oh, man, I'm so glad I have a map. <laughs> oh, that changes everything. And it's a total coincidence that I got to the money changer. If I hadn't, presumably I couldn't have bought a map. Man. Luck, luck, luck. Here we go, we can get into the Fighter's Plaza. The Fighter's Plaza has the Guild Hall, uh, the Leon, Le, Le, Leonine creature, Leonine, Leoten creature before you looks ferocious and kindly at the same time. How wonderful for him. Can I talk to him? Uh, talk to Leonine. You will not need to use a word that was just used on you. Fine, whatever. Let me pet him. Pet Leonine. Best idea. Oh, I, that's right. I don't need to use that word at all. Look at that. Just look at. Okay, whatever. Let's go into the guild hall. Uh, if I can manage. There we go. Ooh, interesting place. Ah, oh, the hero of the Katas. This is Uhura? Really? <laughs> you have some reputation already to hear merchants talk. If you are as good as they say you are, then you must be plenty good. I am plenty good, Uhura. I am Uhura. I stopped my job on the Enterprise to come here and then made that sentence way too short. Thank you. <laughs> Great. I have no idea what you said because I was making a stupid joke. So, we've got some pillows. That would be a comfortable place to sit if I had time. I do! Why not? I don't need to. What a... This is... What is... There is some writing on the EOF plaque on the wall, but you are not close enough to read it. Well, let's get closer. If you got real guts and don't know what the meaning and don't know the meaning of fear, if you got real muscles and don't take guff from no one, if you got a real weapon and know how to use it, then maybe you are good enough to join the eternal order of fighters. Well, I'm not. We pick only the best to join and we'll be watching you, so don't just be good, be great. Be a member of EOF, Eternal Order of Fighters, the guts, the glory, the greatest. Okay, quite the advertisement for them. Uh, there's the quest board. I actually should probably register here. Nice Fez. I have trouble remembering names, but I never forget a Fez. Nice. Let's register. Please, Effendi. A thousand pardons, but I do not understand. I want to register. The book is for visiting adventurers to sign. Okay, how do, do I sign? Uh, but... Eh, right name. You sign your name in the book. I think I got points for that. So it must have been good. Okay, let's look at the quest board. If I get close, can I read it? There we go. I've got a re two or a web tea, or hot ice, or paladin, or beezes. Beezes. There will be given to one who uh, restores the Emir Aris al-Din to his rightful place in the palace of at Rezir, the sum of 1,000 dinars. So I guess my 150 dinars isn't really that impressive. By order of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. He who is willing to brave the desert should seek Harik Atar in his shop at the sign, at the sign of the mortar and pestle by the fountain. Okay. That one shall find rewards for his courage. Oh, I see. Okay, so so this is a, a sort of... If I go there and chat with him, then he'll tell me to find something in the desert. There is needed for a spell of great power the whirling part of dervish? A whirling dervish! Inquire at the magic shop. Uh, keep on... Keep on laughing, prop! The way of the paladin to seek to learn to do? Uh, that did say paladin. 
Those who do service to the city and the land of Shaper shall know the reward of goodness by order of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. So that's not a specific quest, it's just do good things. Well, this one we can find. We know where, or I, I vaguely remember, <laughs> where the apothecary shop is, so we can go there. Uh, obviously we'll find Aris al-Din eventually, but not immediately. Um... I need a whir whirling dervish, but yeah, let's let's go to the apothecary's shop. First, let's go back here and see what's going on. That will be the place to see just how good a fighter you are. I get tired of not using spear and shield for so long a while. Maybe you and I will go check out skills there. No magic, though. I don't do magic. Uh, maybe I won't go there. I don't do fighting. <laughs> I do stealing. <laughs> I'm a thief. I didn't mention that. My character is a thief. And the other neat thing about Quest for Glory 2, so it is partly an RPG, and you sort of build up skills and such, and you can actually bring your character from uh, the earlier games into the later games. I am Isur, and this is my weapon shop. I make the best swords and daggers. What do you want? Well, wow, guy. But, but, that, but that all makes sense if you fight by hand. Or use this huge and oddly golden battle axe. Not if you... Never mind. I, I don't want to try and understand, people. Keep your distance. Okay, okay. I'm keeping my distance, guy. Jesus. Wow. What a jerk. Can I buy a dagger? Uh, I think I had three, so let's buy two. He sure seems to make a well-balanced dagger. Even if he does make you pay for the quality. Okay, I have no idea how much I just paid. Um, ooh, I think I paid a lot. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. The double-bladed axe, a precursor of Gillette blades. Weird. Mm, a mace in the face will make you race with haste to the nearest plastic surgeon's place. Apparently they had plastic surgeons in this time period. You can just, you can just see the small wooden trap door underneath the anvil. Why would there be a trap door underneath the anvil? What? I, I'm not going to try and understand that right now. I was actually trying to get to the apothecary shop and just got sort of distracted. Take a look at our map. We want to go east and cry. <laughs> Good lord. So we want to go east, uh, then left turn, mm, left turn, left turn. So east and just take left turns at forks. Okay, this is east. <laughs> Back into the abyss. <laughs> this game. It's just like, why? <laughs> why did they do this? Oh man, I'm really, really glad that I managed to get a map, because if I hadn't, oh, that, that would have been a bad day. Left turn at, no, left turn at forks. Okay, now it's a right turn, because I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> eh, there we go. And he, well, I, I guess I can't complain about how fast he... I was about to say, and he moves so fast, too, but I, I started the game by upping my speed a lot, so... Hmm, I wonder why he's so fast. Maybe it's because I made him so... Yeah, 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 yeah. So hard to control, too. And I'm sure you can hear my mouse clickety-clackying away. <laughs> Uh, isn't there another left turn? Have I gotten lost? Oh, the left turn is coming. Uh, what? I can teleport? Oh, I feel really stupid. <laughs> so that's the use of the map. Not getting around, but uh, getting around, but clicking your way around. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, I feel very stupid. Ooh, okay, the apothecary's shop is on the other side here, I believe. So we can probably just check and see if he has a quest for us and then end the episode there. I am stupid enough to go into the desert, so, you know. I have water, so I should be fine. Ask about quest. Ah, I did not notice you come in. This is the apothecary, where one can buy many wondrous pills and oils. I am Harik. You need something? Just let me know. Uh, okay. I asked you about a quest, please. Uh, yes. Ask about quest. It is not in my power to give you the answer. What? Okay. Should I ask about the desert? Ask about desert. The desert is a wonderful source of components for my pills. 
Okay, I guess I'm just supposed to wander out there and grab things from the desert. <laughs> Whatever was in this pot before, you're glad it's not there now. Why? The red enabled black cauldron is encrusted and empty. How can I see that it's encrusted from this angle? It isn't your garden variety wheelbarrow. Uh, uh, the smoke from the brazier? The brazier? The brazier! It's not a brazier! <laughs> <laughs> wow. The smoke from the brazier smells of sweet incense and halibut. Doesn't it always, ladies? And with that, thank you for watching. Next time, I guess, wander into the desert. No, next time I'll go to the palace. Uh, and then probably wander into the desert. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like below. Cheers! From Yaweasel. The smoke from the brazier. Smells of sweet incense and halibut.